Good morning, folks. We begin on the southern hemisphere of the sun, where a filament on the right side lifts into the upper corona and then spreads back east across the disk, just as another filament heading over the limb into view, destabilized and released. In 171 angstroms, we're looking at an otherwise calm day on our star. There was actually a large eruption that did take place, but it was just behind the northwestern limb, and the CME can be seen heading nowhere near Earth here in the coronagraph images from SOHO. Over at spaceweathernews.com, the site is updating, but both here and at quakewatch.net, there are back-end issues preventing us from updating things like the daily news button, that purple thing. More on that in a moment, but as I said, the charts are updating just fine. No solar flares, and no sunspots capable of making them, just some tiny umbras. I do see a rise in solar wind density, followed by a rise in speed, and shift in the blue phi angle. The space weather is taking swipes at the electrons, but has not yet triggered magnetic instability in Earth's shield. The top solar eruption threats right now are the plasma filaments. We got one on the north trailing just behind the much darker coronal hole patch facing Earth today. We've also got a number of them on the south, even after that one ripped away at the limb. And looking above the incoming filaments reveals another dark patch incoming. After this northern opening departs, the next coronal hole is a negative opening from the south that appears to be transequatorial up to and across the equator. Top news article today is about water content in Saturn's rings. Far more in one set of the rings than expected, and so in that vein, we'll add the Star Water series to today's featured content along with last night's Planetary Geometry Deeper Look. And of course, the first two observers' conferences are set. Pittsburgh in October, Phoenix in January. Time is rapidly running out for the first one. As we take a look at the tropics, your current conditions, and shots of our star to close, I'd like to ask if anyone can help with our issues at Space Weather News and QuakeWatch.net. Both use a Jupiter WordPress theme and Visual Composer. I am very good at working with both, so I'm looking for a real expert to figure out what stumped us here. Until it's fixed, Space Weather News and QuakeWatch.net will see only sparse updates from me, although the charts do update on their own. Anyway, enjoy this period of solar calm while it lasts, folks. It's 6.10 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.